Another domestic violence story, Dale Peters, a Westlake man accused of attacking and killing his ex-girlfriend over the weekend, is sitting behind bars charged with aggravated murder. Court documents released this afternoon state that after killing Laura Fuchella and leaving her body on the front yard of her Montrose Avenue home, he then stole her car and a TV inside her home. This revelation comes after News 5 learned that Peters had a history of domestic violence against the victim. Just two months before, Frischella was granted a protection order against Peters after a domestic dispute, but after posting $500 on a $5,000 bond, Peters repeatedly violated that order. Mona Kosarabdi has been looking into this, and Mona, on top of all this, you learned he was a no-show at his court hearings as well. That's right, Rob and Danita. That incident back in August was Peters' first documented domestic offense, but even back then, the officer that responded noted that Laura Fuchella was at a high risk of becoming a homicide victim. A nine-year relationship comes to a tragic end. 65-year-old Laura Fuchella found dead in her front yard, her estranged ex-boyfriend in a standoff with police after being named a suspect in her death. Fruchella first documented their troubles in August, filing a police report after she says he shoved her to the ground, leaving her with bruises. Nearly a year earlier, Cleveland's 1st and 5th districts implemented a domestic violence high-risk team pilot program. The police officer that, that goes on the scene would talk with the victim and ask a series of questions, um, which is called a danger assessment. And what it is is looking at variables that may lead to homicide. According to Leslie Quilty with the Domestic Violence and Child Advocacy Center, a program partner, the officer classifies the victim at low, medium, or high risk. We are giving the victim the platform for all the services that they need, including filing protection orders, including coming up with safety plans for themselves and their families. In Fruchella's police report, the officer classified her at high risk. News 5 has learned that per the pilot program, Peters' domestic violence case was assigned to a dedicated violence docket, but it was after he posted $500 on a $5,000 bond. Even if a case isn't deemed a high risk, um, there are issues with persons being set free on personal bonds um, within 12 hours, 24 hours of being arrested. According to a Cleveland Municipal Court rep, bond is set based on the statement of facts, which did not mention that Fruchella was labeled high risk. And it's important to note that Leslie Colty tells me that in the years since the program has been in effect, there have been no domestic violence homicides in District 1 or 5 in, in that last year. But also, it's unclear if the prosecutor in this case brought up Leslie, or excuse me, um, Fruchella's classification during Peter's arraignment. We did mention that this in the statement of facts, it wasn't noted that she was high risk. But I do have calls out to find that information out, and I will share with you as soon as I get it. For right now, live in Cleveland, Monaco Sarabdi, News 5.